cool, cool, cool. Tell me who you are. I'm a recovering drug addict named Mitchell Hot. Mitchell Hot. Mitchell Hot. Yeah. But I want to point out that <clears throat> most people only see the drug addict part and the chaos and damage that comes with it, but nobody sees the pain and the trauma and the hurt we all go through as addicts. Yeah, for sure. How long have you been here? I've been at the Plum House and Recovery Resources for six months. Right on. How are you finding it? I find it amazing. Well, I came here and uh, found something that I never thought I'd get, which was love when I was unlovable, acceptance when everything I did was unacceptable, and understanding for who I truly am. That's pretty powerful. It is. Yeah. Sounds like you have a lot of gratitude. I have a lot of gratitude. Well, how did you get here? to this point in your life? Complete and utter defeat. <laughs> Rock to my knees in complete surrender. So broken, strung out on needle dope, about 93 pounds. Lost my son, he didn't want nothing to do with me. My family didn't want nothing to do with me. I was uncomfortable in my own skin. I hurt so bad that I just hoping the next shot killed me or the bullet would. And I actually found myself broken down and put the gun in my mouth, pulled the trigger, and it didn't go off. Wow. So, what was it like growing like, up? When did you start your drug use, you think, this addiction thing? About 15 years old. How old are you now? 31. Okay. I've always had abandonment issues. My dad was never in the picture. Wasn't really close with my mom, so I've always had abandonment issues and hatred. So at first when I tried drugs, it was just to be cool, but then I got that breath of relief. That I didn't have to feel anything else. Mm. And then it worked. You know how old you were when that happened? About 15. Oh, wow. Yeah, about 15 years old. So what was like the last week like leading up to you not using anymore? Awful. Starving to death. No sleep. Skin and bones. Depressed. Anxious. Just ready to not be here. Any particular moment that stand out to you? Yeah, I remember sitting in my apartment. The power had been shut off, and like I had the money to cut the cut the lights back on, and I chose not to. I chose to buy drugs instead, and I see myself in the mirror in the dark with a flashlight trying to shoot up again. And that was one of my breaking points. You said one of your breaking yeah. points? Yeah, that was one of my breaking you points. multiple ones? Multiple ones. You remember any other? The, the gun in the mouth was a big thing. Oh. Well, how long was it when that happened until when you... Did you go to treatment? I did go to treatment and okay. went to Magnolia Ridge. What was the day like leading, going into there? Terrifying. You ever been before? I went through treatment back in 2017 at Recovery Soldiers in Elizabethan and I uh, actually stayed clean and sober for five years. But it's about more than that. I never fixed all the hurt that caused me to use. And then when it happened again, I relapsed and used again. What does that hurt look like? Well, I was previously married and uh, we ended up splitting up. We were both in addiction. She left me and took my kid from me for two years. So I had lots of hate, resentment, abandonment issues. And then in my sobriety this past time, I was actually engaged and she left the same way. And I never solved that problem that was inside, so I went back to the only thing I knew how. How are you solving that today? I actually speak with a therapist, surround myself with like-minded people that's went through the same thing, that actually care about who I am, and know me for me. What are you most excited about? The message I hope we get to deliver. Because if, if a drug addict like me, broken down, miserable, to the point of suicide, can overcome it, anybody can. I believe that too. Thank you so much. Thank you.